Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores, or I go to estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist, and I look for things that I either find interesting, or that I think would tell me a story, and then I try to find out as much as I can about them and tell you guys about them. So, here's what I've got to say. So what we have is this. This lovely little bud vase with gold and butterflies. And I hope this shows up properly under the camera. You can see just the that lovely hand-painted gold and enamel. And the surface of it is very slightly raised as well. Like it's not just printed on, this has actually been properly painted. And it is just absolutely lovely. <laughs> it's in lovely condition as well. All the gilt is entirely intact. All the hand painting is entirely intact. The vibrant, the colors are all just absolutely beautiful and vibrant. And of course we have a mark. We'll talk about that soon. <laughs> so I'll just get the measuring tape. It's quite small and difficult to measure. It's about just over four and a quarter inches high. And I guess about two and three quarter inches across. It is, it is quite tiny. Now, I bought this in a thrift store for $3 because essentially I picked it up and thought, as I sometimes do, this is something that is incredibly well made, is made with care and attention. Somebody put a lot of effort into, into creating it. And like, I, I just, I was such a fan of it. I just, I basically, I picked it up, I held it like this and I thought, this is something nice. This is something really good. And it was quite dirty. So I expect it is probably a little bit old, but that said, let's take a look at the mark. And it says here, Zolne, Hungary. You see it says 22 and 35, and the numbers are generally going to, res they're going to refer to something. Maybe the name of the artist that worked on it, maybe the name of the pattern, you know, maybe the shape of the form itself. But what we have over on the side here, 10082 slash 026, <laughs> that doesn't kind of really tell us much at all. I'm guessing and saying that 10082 is actually the pattern number, and 0026 is maybe the, 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 the type, as in the actual shape of the, the little vase itself. It's kind of hard to tell and not a whole lot of information online, unfortunately, but let's see what we can find out. Okay, so to start off with, Zolne is a porcelain company and they are Hungarian. And it should be pretty obvious now because obviously it's, it's Hungary, where it says they are Pexas, the actual town where they are based. And... 1868 is yeah well I mean it's technically it's a it's a it's a it's a reference to the actual like when the company was founded but it turns out that's a little bit variable so we'll just we'll we'll, we'll see where we're at so Zolne or whatever that is I'm not going to try and pronounce it I'm sorry is a Hungarian manufactured porcelain tile store where they they introduced yeah they were uh, responsible for some of these new basically new technology in ceramics, making glazing process and pyrogranite ceramics. I will leave a link down in the description if you'd like to go read up on the kind of stuff that, that they've done. Um, this isn't really relevant here because this is tableware and it's not really a reference to, like the, the, the new techniques they came up with as far as I know, they have not been used here. This is just a very nice piece of porcelain, um, very finely made, but not revolutionary, just kind of nice. So based on the fact that we have such a, such a nice mark, can we actually date this? It turns out, yes, we can. So if we take a look at theoldstuff.com, they have, uh, this is another site that I sometimes reference. They have, re they have a lot of visual references for different marks with kind of a rough idea of when these marks would have been used. Very useful if you're trying to date porcelain of this kind. We have a little bit more about the actual company itself as well. Um, the company, by the way, had been through several iterations. Obviously, they've been around since like the middle of the 19th century. They've been through some iterations of like whether being nationalized or not nationalized or being involved in the war. And like it's there's not a whole lot going on here. They started having problems after World War One, disintegration of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Serbian occupation. Again, they're in Hungary. <laughs> after a few years, condition improves, but the Budapest factory was bombed during World War Two. And the firm was nationalized in 1948 and renamed as the only national company of PEX. Now, it's still not clear from this, like what exactly, like when exactly this would have come from. Um, but we do have some kind of somewhat curious information here. 
and I'm holding this up and the camera isn't focusing correctly. So in 1963, the factory lost independence. It was used, it was used to produce common tableware goods. It was only marked started to be used again from used again in 1974. From 1982, the firm was independent again, and then it was private privatized again in 1995. That doesn't give us a whole lot, but we do actually have this. If this is going to load for me, here we go. And that looks pretty good. And I mean, admittedly, this is in blue. And that is in green. <laughs> Come on. This one. Hold on. But it's close enough that we can definitely say that this is, this is going to be the same mark. You can see here it's printed, but it's almost an exact match for this one. The only difference is that this one is in blue and this one is in green. And it's slightly, it's a little bit worn. Not that one. That's 1999. This one, 1968, is what we want. This was used in the 1980s. So we know now that this is actually vintage porcelain. It's going to be from, you know, maybe about 30 or 40 years ago. Very nice that it's actually survived so well. Can you consider can you consider the age? It literally looks like it could have been made yesterday. It's really, really pretty and it's taken no damage at all. So what do we actually know about the pattern itself? Now, I did some research as well. This is the Zolnay website. Obviously, they're still around today. And I did find some information on this, the butterfly collection. This has been translated from Hungary, so it's not going to be... Sorry, it'll be translated from Hungarian, so it's not going to be fantastic. <laughs> but it's been... It's painted in vibrant colours, 24 karat hand-painted gold borders and contours. It's cream porcelain. And then there's basically butterflies on all of it. And uh, the original butterfly pattern dates from the 19th century, created by the Zolnay Manufactory. And apparently 50 years ago, the master design of the factory kind of brought it back. And uh, it is still one of the most popular motifs of the Zolnay sets, in addition to a large selection of universal accessories and ornaments and what have you. So that kind of gives us enough to go on. Like, that is that is effectively the pattern. I did look this up, and there are a few different variations of it. So it's not entirely consistent from one piece to the next. And... The big problem that I had was how exactly do you price this up? Um, and that at least I do have. I took a look at Zolnay Butterfly just to see like what was, you know, what was possible for this. There are a few diff other little vases like this. Um, and Zolnay does sell fairly well. They're quite high-end porcelain, especially the vintage stuff. And because the butterfly is one of the most popular patterns, this is definitely collectible. People are definitely going to be looking for it. Now, I have some examples here of sold stuff. And they're like tea sets and the little trinket boxes and what have you. And obviously this is all in Canadian dollars. But they're still they're still kind of nice. Considering I got it for three dollars, like it's gonna probably resell for more than that. That's uh ivory porcelain made in hungry collectible. And if I take a look at what's actually available now, you can see there's quite a bit there, and there is my listing for it. Selling it for US 24. <laughs> so 30 about $30. Um, this is based on, on basically similar vases in different patterns and not specifically the butterfly. I do have an advantage because there are no other butterfly vases out there. Which is nice. I mean, pretty good, pretty good resell. <laughs> pretty good sell. So there we have it. That is my small joyful thing for the day. You have to admit it's incredibly pretty and the gold really does just set off the butterflies really well. So I hope you guys like it as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.